Introducing Quickie.lk, Sri Lanka's favorite online marketplace with a wide range of product categories. Pharmaceuticals, automobile, groceries, electronics, flowers and cakes, homeware and appliances, and special services such as Quickie Concierge and Quickie SOS. Providing you with multiple payment options, quick delivery and reliable customer support. Get anything you want delivered anywhere in Sri Lanka with special late night delivery until 3 a.m. within Colombo and suburbs. Download the quickie.lk mobile app on your Android or iOS device or visit www.quickie.lk. Quickie.lk Convenience delivered. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Havelock Sports Club for this quarterfinal encounter between Wesley College and Science College for the Dialogue Interschool Knockout Tournament. Uh, we, we, this will be the third quarterfinal of the day. There will be another quarterfinal happening at the Royal College Sports Complex between uh, St. Joseph's College uh, and uh, St. Joseph's versus St. Anthony's. But this is the encounter that we'll be bringing to you today between Wesley and Science. Joining me in the commentary today is uh, Hisham Hamid. Uh, good evening, Hisham. How do you see this game going? Well, uh, you'll have to say on paper, Wesley look clear favorites today and should have it their way. But this is a knockout game, so you never know. As this is the weather forecast for today's game. Wind, temperature, everything. Partly cloudy, yes. Uh, but I don't think we'd accept some rain, except some expect some rain during the game. But all good for some running, open rugby. Reno, both these teams are renowned for. Yes, well, both these teams uh, have uh, produced some good rugby during this season. They've shown an affinity to spread the ball out wide to play some running rugby. Probably you'd find uh, Saint Wesley rather having a slight edge with regard to their forwards. Probably slightly because they've got some good. Uh, ball carrying forwards, they'll be able to get over the gain line and give their three quarters uh, some good uh, quality ball to work with. Uh, Science on the other hand, uh, you'd expect them to uh, put in a plucky performance. Uh, they haven't been able to quite produce the goods as they would like to this season, but I'm sure this is a great opportunity for them uh, to make amends. So here we see the stats of the past winners uh, since 2012. Uh, previously, St. Peter's doing it in 2018 and 2019 as well unfortunately won't be taking part this se this season and before that their traditional rivals in Joseph's beating Isipatana won it for the first time in their history Isipatana science and Isipatana back in 2014 Wesley uh, a historic win for them their first title in 2013 Rahul De Silva leading his uh, boys to a famous win over Trinity College in that final and Isipatana College winning it in 2012, beating Trinity, and that was under Kumeda Dharmadasa. Yes, it's interesting when you look at that uh, winner's list, uh, Hisham, that uh, Science and Wesley both have featured in that winning list. So they do have a bit of pedigree in this tournament, and uh, I'm sure that uh, they will want to make amends for what has been, you'd have to say, a slightly disappointing league uh, campaign on both their behalves. Uh, Wesley have got a very experienced uh, team in their ranks. I'm sure they would have been uh, looking to be serious title contenders but unfortunately just dropped a couple of games uh, in the lead up to that final game and uh, they will definitely want to make amends uh, today. So here we go just as we speak uh, how Science College fared this season. They lost to Isipatana in their opening game but did show some promising moments in that game but unfortunately this is a game against Dharmaraja where they will be disappointed. They led but just gave away during the dying moments of the game. And then lost to Wesley, 38 points to 10. Lost to Vidyartha as well in their home game. And then uh, did end the season with a famous and uh, exciting win over St. Peter's College, played at Air Force ground. So they will hope to start or use that momentum and coming into this game to create an upset. So this is uh, Wesley's results. They started off extremely well in that first match against Vidyartha, put in a really good performance. Uh, but then uh, went down to uh, uh, the champions, Isipatana, 10 points to nil. Uh, I think that was a bit of a setback uh, which uh, put them uh, on the back foot for the rest of the league. Uh, this is the encounter which they will probably take a lot out of. Their comprehensive win over St. Anthony's, uh, rather Science College, 38 points to 10. 
then a very plucky performance at the Bumble PT against St. Peter's, drawing that game 17 all. A comfortable win against Dharmaraja, 31 12. And of course, they were out mauled in that match against uh, uh, Royal uh, after leading nine points to nil as well. So, and of course, uh, eventually a pretty lackluster defeat against St. Joseph. So, if you just go by those results, uh, Hisham, you'd have to say that Science have got a little bit of momentum coming their way. But having said that, that comprehensive win that Wesley got over Science in that league phase will probably give them that uh, little bit of confidence going into this game. Exactly. And also, Wesley College have got a few tactical, uh, you can say, personnel in their coaching department. Sri Lanka skipper Mark Gunaratna joining their ranks to help them out. And like you said, Abdullah, they will be trying their best to make amends for a rather poor season during the league and try to grab some silverware. And they are capable of doing so. So we'll be back after a short commercial break. Stay tuned.
Welcome back to Havelock Sports Club. We're just about uh, waiting the commencement of this quarterfinal encounter between uh, Wesley and Science. Both the teams have just completed their warm-ups and gone into the changing room just to put on their playing kit. And uh, we'll be just uh, coming up with the team list uh, for the moment. This is the Science uh, outfit. Uh, their, prop, their front rows, uh, Kavisha, Kumara, Nimsara, Bandara, Pereira, Dairatna. Nimsara and uh, Iduranga will be the number eight. Pardon us for the no, jersey numbers. It seems to be all over the place, but uh, we'll try our best to keep you posted. At the backs, Anuja, Dilshan, Pereira, Hasita, Dale, Singh and Dilshan will be the fullback. The Wesley outfit, Shem Ilasha, Shehan Fernando, Hafiz Tabit, Akinda Gamman Pillar, Suchit Hapugal, Akish Jaman, Chamod Nimsara, and the number eight will be Suru Pereira. Their scrum off today will be uh, Shane Hopwood. Uh, he'll be replacing the very influential uh, uh, Murli Dharan, who generally occupies the number eight, uh, number nine jersey, but unfortunately seems to have uh, a shoulder injury, so they will definitely feel his absence. At number 10, uh, at his uh, fly half, uh, Shavin Jayawardana, Malisha Taranga, Misla Amat, Kavita Amit, UNS Rodrigo, and skipper TP Jayavira makes up that Wesley lineup. So, uh, Hisham, uh, we've seen throughout the season uh, how influential uh, Murlidhar and Deskramaf has been. How do you see uh, his uh, absence uh, impacting Wesley's performance today? Yes, it's going to be interesting to see how Wesley would uh, play without him, especially because he's, a, I think, a very tactical player as well. He's been, they've used to his uh, box kicks, which have been high and hanging box kicks to gain ground as well as some good distribution skills from him as well. So whether Hopwood can replace him and make sure the backs don't miss his services is interesting to see. As we see the Science College team lining up in, in front of the pavilion for a team introduction. Yes, and also when you miss such an influential play in your ranks, it's important that the other senior players lift their game as well, isn't it? Because it's not just, uh, as you correctly mentioned, Hisham, his tactical play, but he also seems to be one of those leaders on the field as well. So that input, uh, that composure that he brings into this Wesley team will be felt. And I think it's important that the rest of their players, there are quite a few senior players in this Wesley team, will need to step up and uh, try their best uh, to not just... Uh, uh, settle things as far as the team is concerned but also uh, in ensure that Hopford is given uh, enough front football for him to execute uh, whatever their backs need to do. As we see Wesley College entering the field led by their fullback Talos Jaivira. A lot would have would be expected from him today. And of course, there will be a team introduction. This is the quarterfinals of the Dialogue Schools Rugby Knockout Tournament. The third of the four quarterfinals. Of course, the other game is between St. Joseph's and St. Anthony's. Played at the Royal Complex. Yes, so one semi-final lineup was decided yesterday. Uh, it'll be Sipatana who will be taking on uh, St. Thomas's Mount Lavinia in that first semi-final. So the two, the winners of uh, today's uh, two semi-final encounters uh, will make up that second semi-final that will be played on uh, Sunday next week. So some interesting games ahead. Before that, both these teams will definitely want to put in their best forward, this foot forward and make it uh, to that semi-final. Well, just off your screen, we are waiting kickoff as the teams are introduced to the special dignitaries for today. Yes, it was interesting, Hisham, looking at that winner's list uh, in our previous segment, how both these teams have actually won this league knockout, uh, this, uh, knockout tournament, isn't it? Uh, so they do have a bit of a history in this tournament, and uh, no doubt that uh, they will definitely want to uh, try and repeat uh, that performance, but uh, the first got to get over this uh, quarter-final encounter, and uh, 
to be knowing me easy task because both teams know that there is no tomorrow after today if they do lose so they'll definitely go hell for leather to try and win this game as we await the completion of the formalities uh, before kickoff Both teams just going through their final routines before the kickoff. So uh, we wait the commencement of this game. As Wesley uh, College will definitely go in as slight favourites for today's game, considering their previous encounter, which they won relatively comfortably in that league stage. But uh, the temperament required for knockout rugby is entirely different. As we have the look at the match officials, Shankar Abekon will be the referee. He'll be. A, Assisted by uh, Gihan Yatavara and Anil Mangala. So, uh, Ishanka Abekon, one of the leading referees in Sri Lanka currently, likes to uh, ensure that uh, the game is uh, played at a reasonable pace. He's also very strict uh, on the offside uh, line as well, isn't it, Hisham? Very strict on that, and both teams will need to keep in mind that. Uh, they do stay on line, on side as far as possible, especially from face play. Because if not, uh, he will not hesitate to uh, call or call them out. So that discipline is very important and also understandably so because you don't want teams infringing on the offside line too much because it can slow the game down and give an unfair advantage to the defensive team as well. So both teams just going through their final hurdles before the kickoff. So it'll be Science College Dilshan to kick off. So here we go, quarter-final three of the Dialogue Schools Rugby Knockout Tournament. Science taking on Wesley. <coughs> and Science College kick off the proceedings. Coolly collected there by the Wesley fly half, Chai Vardana. And just takes the safe option, kicks it out to touch. So Science College will get the first line of the game as well, just inside uh, their half. Yes, nice yeah, clean yeah, collection yeah, and yeah, good yeah. touch find as Number well, four, almost uh, to the halfway mark. A very uh, important aspect of the game this uh, season, the line out. It's not been one of the better seasons for line outs in this uh, league, has it been, Hisham, during the league phase? Other than for Isipatana, most of the other teams have struggled at line out time have the first throw in again it's an overthrow very well read by uh, Wesley take the ball up do rece recycle Hopwood getting the ball out to his forwards do get over the gain line do find a bit of space did have my players out wide needed to get that pass out but decided back. to go into contact back get back Wesley have recycled the ball Taking it up through their forwards. Last again, very well recycled. Hopwood again there. Spreading the ball out wide. Wesley do have players out wide if they can get the ball out. The ball not uh, finding the player, but yet there's a bit of space out wide. A lovely uh, pass, but unfortunately just being bundled into touch. But nonetheless, a good start by Wesley. Creating a few faces. 
asking a few questions from this uh, science defense as well. Now, unfortunately, if those passes had just gone into hand, Hisham, uh, without on going on the bounce, uh, Wesley could probably have uh, got their first score, but uh, science uh, cover defense was good enough to throw out that attack. Yes, science college. Wesley making their intentions clear. Few hits off the middle of the on the park, and then the ball quickly being sent out to the wide men. But just as you pointed out, Abdullah passes not being the best of passes delayed that for Wesley. So Science College with the second line out failed in the first. This time it's good enough. Comes comes out to the fly half. Good kick. The Wesley fly half is backtracking, but collects the ball eventually. Here's Jaivira. Puts in the Cut. kick and the w Science College fly half doesn't read the bounce. Well, and the kick is sent back to Jaivira. Has men on the outside. Will go himself. Goes into contact. Science College trying to put some pressure on the breakdown, but Wesley have it secured. Here's Hopwood. Sends the ball out and Wesley Science College with a good tackle there on that occasion. Hopwood trying to go solo, finds himself isolated. But then off your feet, says referee. And Wesley have the first penalty on the day. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Science trying to counter attack, but unfortunately not uh, holding the, or not maintaining their own weight when while going into that uh, ruck and very correctly penalized by referee Abe Kohn. So good opportunity for Science. They had uh, the option of going uh, for goal but decide to go to touch. by uh, the referee so th as a result of the penalty Wesley find uh, some good touch about 15 meters away from the goal line nice clean line out the ball. former mall okay. tried to go for a driving go mall but there was a little bit of disengagement go nonetheless Wesley have retained position Back. try to attack through the fringes <laughs> but unfortunately the player this time it's Wesley who have uh, been penalized for going off their feet. So it's an area of the game that uh, referee Ishanka has uh, very clearly laid down the mark that he's going to be very strict in that area when it comes to the breakdown. And it's important that uh, both teams keep that in mind and adapt as this game goes forward. Science College just getting play. Outside there, 22. Off that penalty. German, uh, who was penalized for not supporting his body weight. Nice clean take by Wesley. Dilshan will look to find touch, or rather not, because he's he received the ball from outside the 22. So Jayavira collects the ball, decides to go to the boot again, finds a bit of space. Some good uh, pressure by the Wesley Chasers. Nonetheless, uh, Dilshan manages uh, to find a bit of space and gets a long ranging kick. Science need to put a bit of pressure. Oh, and that's a terrible clearance. But looks like it has been a knock-on, so a massive gain by uh, Science College as a result of that kick by uh, Dilshan. It's a very complex thing, isn't it, Hisham? When you do kick, you have to ensure that you have uh, the players need to have that understanding to drop back for the uh, for the if the kick, the ball is kicked back because especially if your back three ball, is involved in that first kick and chase there's generally no one at the back so that awareness is very important and on that occasion Wesley were found a bit wanting they Go. have to scramble scramble back uh, to retrieve that ball Five. and as a result uh, due to the Set. pressure applied Set. by the West, uh, by the science Set. chase infringed Set. by knocking the ball on so a good attacking opportunity for science 
inside the, the Wesley half. And they've earned a penalty, so an, attack, an attacking opportunity for Wesley decide to go to the boot, but uh, not successfully. Nonetheless, they've come back for the penalty. It's Hopwood uh, who was penalized on that occasion for infringing uh, in that scrum in terms of offside. He thought that the ball had left the number eight foot, but it hadn't. And uh, Science have uh, gone to the post earlier on. Have to say the correct decision. Scrum, but uh, it's one of those calls that could go either way. And on this yeah. instance, it went in uh, science uh, favor. Mr. Abdullah, it looked a 50 50 call. But then science getting the decision in their favor. And after absorbing that early pressure, they will have the opportunity to get some early points off this kick at goal. So it seems their fly half, Dilshan, will be taking this kick. Dilshan lines it up, smacks it against the crossbar, almost collected by the Science College player, but he did knock it forward. There was Anjana who tried collecting the ball but knocked it forward. Wesley almost giving away a try instead of the three points there. the scrum interesting to see what options uh, science will take from this Bye. Set. Steady. Steady. it's Anjana to feed the ball into the scrum Stay bound. Stay bound. Well, good scrum by uh, Wesley now stop. so it's uh, scrum has been wheeled so we'll have a reset but a good strong scrum by Wesley, putting a lot of pressure on that Science 8. Science will do well to just try and get quick ball out, isn't it, Hisham, without trying and keeping it in that scrum for too long. Exactly, Abdul. I think in comparison to Science College, Wesley do have some big players as well. So Science College, the wise thing would be is to get that ball out of there and send it through the hands of their backs who are capable of open fast rugby once again pressure by Wesley the number eight breaks from the back still with contact science secure position scrum half barking instructions trying to get his forwards in order going sideways not forward sniping attempt there by one of the forwards from science college but holding on is the offense so gives away position Good break there by the Wesley number seven. That's Chamod Nimsara. Advantage over. Still with possession, Wesley oh, yeah. running themselves out of their red zone. A good thumping kick. But did he have too much on that? Yes, indeed. So we will have play all the way back. Yes, it's not a bad option to have off-face play because I don't think Science were expecting that kick from the base, but unfortunately, just overcooked it a bit, did Hopwood. So it'll, there'll be a scrum all the way back, back into uh, Wesley's half. So a bit unfortunate, uh, Wesley, on that occasion. They launched an attack from their own five-meter line through a quick tap, gained a lot of ground. Unfortunately, that uh, kick just... Uh, Reaching the dead ball line. Coach. 
science. I think they'll be better off playing the game with a bit more width. If they try and get into an arm wrestle with this science outfit, uh, with this Wesley out outfit, I don't think it's uh, they're going to come away with too much uh, positives. Well, science with the feed in. The ball comes out wide to their backs. Quick ball, but does find the pace. Good work. Won the win three quarters. Stays on his feet. Uses his strength to keep possession. Good work there by Hasita. Still with possession, but holding on. No, in fact, referee says the tackle not rolling away. So he's playing advantage for Science College. And another advantage for offside as well. Looking for the man. Tackle is missed. Still with possession. Science looking to send the ball out wide. Wesley College missing a few tackles here. They've got to get their one-on-one -on -one tackle spot on. Cannot afford Science any room on the outside. This is the big number three for Science. Using his strength. Science College quick to use the option on the far side. Ball is knocked forward, but they will come back for the initial advantage. It's a good passage of play by Science. Recycling the ball, asking a lot of questions off that Wesley defense. And there were a couple of occasions where Wesley were found offside as well. Referee was penalized on this occasion for the tackler not rolling away. But uh, there were a couple of other calls as well where they were not offside. So Shankar Bacon just having a quiet word with uh, the Wesleyites. So Wesley, very, uh, Science very correctly deciding to go to the post. Dilshan, although not making that... Uh, Previous penalty successful. Did strike the ball well. Just unfortunately for him, hit the upright. This is uh, just on the 35 meter mark, you'd have to say, with a slight angle. Dilshan with his second attempt of the day. Lines this one up. Takes one final glance at the posts. Dilshan. In an attempt to give Science College the early lead here. Once again, smacks against the crossbar. You don't see that often. Both the kicks. Against the post. And Wesley College will try to clear their lines. Hopwood with the box kick, covered by the Science College player. Not brought to ground. Good tackle there no, in the no, end no. by the Wesley College player. Science do with possession, trying to use their forwards to create some width. And was that a knock forward? Yes, indeed. So, once again, Wesley, the defense. Coming out on top. Yes, again, I don't think that tactically that's the correct thing science should do, just trying to go around the fringes, because I don't think that's a uh, contest they're going to win against this uh, much more uh, heavy uh, science uh, eight. I think they've always looked much dangerous in these first few passages of play when they played the game with a bit of width. Don't think trying to attack the fringes, they're going to get too much uh, ground, so... Bye. Maybe that's something which uh, science will need to adjust as they go, uh, go forward in this game. But uh, how unlucky uh, is uh, Dilshan on both occasions hitting the upright. Hopwood gets the ball out to uh, his keeper Jayavira. Slices that, doesn't get much ground, but a wonderful chase by... Uh, looks like, th though it looks like Abe Kohn has called uh, playback. I think the chaser was in front of the ball. Just wait and see what uh, the call is. So looks like, uh, yes, the chaser seems to have been in front of the kicker.
Sainz. Looks like Dilshan going for touch. Wonderful kick uh, by Dilshan. Couldn't have uh, got it more accurate. Right on the goal line. On that uh, corner flag rather. So it will be a five meter line out for Science. Let's see whether they are good enough to capitalize on it. And live from Royal Complex, the score update is St. Joseph's from are uh, equal. Seven, point, seven points all is the score from that game. Science with the line out. But the ball is lost. Cardinal there by Science College. Great opportunity given away. The kick, kick is the kick is charged, but the referee was playing advantage. So Wesley will have the feed into the scrum. Yes, the so Science have got a couple of opportunities so far in this game, Hisham. They just haven't been able to capitalize on it. Bit unlucky with the two uh, uh, penalty goals attempts by Dilshan, both hitting the upright. But other than that, they've had a five-meter scrum previously, which. Uh, they just could not capitalize on and on this occasion the lack of communication at line out time uh, has uh, cost them and uh, given uh, the Wesleyites a chance for them to clear their lines. Coach. Yeah. Five. Set. Ready. Hopwood to feed the scrum. So number eight break by uh, Isuru Pereira makes good ground. Hop, pops the ball up to uh, Jayavira and looks like they have men out wide. Need to spread the ball out. It was good defense by Science. Some wonderful bit of cover defense. Nonetheless, Science uh, Wesley still have position. Look to spread the ball out wide. No, no. Hopwood, again slow ball, giving the science uh, defense to realign. But nonetheless, they managed to find out space and unfortunately that pass going forward. Time Fortunately, uh, Wesley had men out wide but uh, just couldn't uh, execute those passes, not going to hand and uh, that final pass... Uh, being sent forward and also we'd like to remind our fans for fast action and quick penetrating relief baraka joint ease is the spray for you it offers instant relief from any type of joint and muscle pain associated with sports and day-to-day -day work so it's available in all pharmacies and supermarkets island wide or you can log into the baraka facebook page for more details Yes, so far in this game, Science have always looked a bit dangerous when they have spread the ball out wide, isn't it, Hisham? They've just got to continue to do that and just trust that their backs will create something for them because I just don't think they have uh, the physical prowess to uh, counter this Wesley 8. So it's a very uh, tactical part of the game that coaches will need to keep an eye on and adjust. Make sure that the players adjust accordingly. So Anjana will feed this scrum. Again, a big scrum by Wesley. But on this occasion, penalized for driving upwards, which you're not allowed to do. So something that Wesley will need to uh, keep in mind. It's fine putting pressure on the Science 8 just to push them, put them on the back foot, but they need to do so illegally because uh, if not, they will concede penalties. And another really good touch finder by Dilshan. Seems to be striking the ball well today. Not just uh, off the hand, but off the tee as well. Desperately unlucky to have missed those two penalty opportunities, both hitting the uprights.
So Science now with an opportunity to launch an attack off this line out. Seems like they will be going without with a three man line out as they have been throughout this game. So first things first, they've got to get the throw in correct. Chai Vardana. Just as we say, overthrows it. So Wesley with possession now. Hopwood with a good kick, fine space. And the Science College player does cover ground. Good chase by the Wesley backs. But Science College still doing just enough to retain possession. A desperate kick. It's still in play. Wesley College almost paying the price for some complacency there. Here's Jaibira. Has a man on the outside. Decides to put the boot in. But Science call it with possession. Once again, a desperate kick. Not the best of kicks by Science College, but almost worked towards the advantage as well. In the end, it's just rolled out to touch, and Wesley College will have a line out. Frenzy stuff there. Could have gone either way. Yes, just uh, think though that Jai uh, would have done better to trust his uh, ability and run the ball there rather than putting. The goal line. Nice clean take. Looks like they have uh, formed the mall. The referee has his arms up for the collapsing of the mall. So an opportunity. Nice long pass, but just doesn't uh, find the man. Nonetheless, Wesley have managed to find a bit of uh, space and looks like a wonderful bit of uh, interplay between uh, Jayavir and. Uh, Tiranagama. I think referee wants to have a word with his touch judge. I think on the final pass. <laughs> yes, the pass is good and the referee was the try. So Science College find themselves trailing this game early on. And Wesley finally using their backs some good flair shown by their backs and they score. Jaiviva in the skipper. Showing his skill. And getting yes, we're just talking uh, what a skillful runner he can be and good distributor as well. Wonderful bit of interplay there between uh, Tiranagama and uh, Jaiviva. Just managing to identify the spaces amongst each other. They passed the ball to each other and realigned extremely well. And as a result, managed to get that first score for Wesley, so about 24 minutes into this game and uh, Wesley managed to get onto the scoreboard first. So it's an opportunity for Jai Vardhana to add the extra points. Strikes the ball well, but goes right across the post. So the score line will remain five points to nil in favor of uh, Wesley. the final uh, science defender and get the ball out to Tiranagama who put the finishing touches. So long kick by Dilshan. Poor communication by Wesley letting the ball bounce but uh, they managed to regain position. Just need to look to clear their lines. Tacking along the fringes, get, making a bit of ground. Again deciding to go along the fringes. Get back, get back, get back. 
Hopwood evaluating his options. Gets it out to Jaivira who makes Jawadna who makes a small punt. Science have done well to retrieve position. Get the ball out to Dilshan who will go to the boot again. Hopwood uh, has positioned himself well on that occasion. And has replied well with a good long ranging kick which Dilshan has uh, collected. Will go for touch. So it's about a uh, 20 meter gain for Wesley from that uh, phase of play. It's a kicking duel which uh, they will be relatively happy with. Again, you could see, isn't it, Hisham? Whenever Wesley do attack along the fringe. Much more than that. So throw in for Wesley. Decide to go long. Lack like of communication and a chance for science to uh, counter. Got the ball out wide. Spread it. Referee has his hands out for Wesley being offside. So they have an advantage as well. Would do well to uh, spread it out. Again, just going into contact. Do not gain much ground. A slow ball being given out. Deciding to go to boot this time. So there's no advantage there. Referee Abe Cohen will come back for the offside infringement by Wesley. So Dilshan will once again look to find some good touch. Really good uh, strike by Dilshan. It's definitely making good contact with the ball. Takes play into the 22. Twenty-seven minutes gone, and Science trailing the game. Five point nil. Plenty of time left. Of course, if you are just joining us, Science College did have a few opportunities to score themselves. Missed two penalties, both kicks smashing against the crossbar. Unfortunately, Science College just do enough to win the ball off that line out. Not been very assuring du during line out time, Science College. Trying to force their way through the forwards, not working. And once again, the ball is ripped in the tackle. Referee says play on. Hopwood gives the ball some air time, but straight to the hands of Dilshan. Looks for options and then returns a flat kick, but straight to Jaivira. Jaivira with a rather cross kick. Found well by the Science College player, but he is met with heavy defense from the Wesley player. So Science College still with possession, but has the ball come up on the other side? No, referee says coming in from the side. So Science College with another penalty. And as we see, St. Joseph's have taken the lead 19.7 in the fourth quarter final. That's against St. Anthony's, live from Royal Complex. Of course, the winner of that game will be meeting the winner of the third quarterfinal, which is either Wesley or Science. Jaivira's kick doesn't find touch, comes back into play and then rolls out of the in-goal area. So, yet again, Science College being 
wasteful there with an opportunity to add some pressure on Wesley. Yes, unfortunately, we're just praising Dilshan for striking the ball well with the boot, but on that occasion probably just struck it too well. But again, uh, Hisham Science just need to try and play the game with a bit more width. I don't think uh, they're going to make much headway if they're going to try to attack along the fringes because they just don't seem to have the physical capacity to do that. Five. They have looked uh, a bit Six. dangerous Seven. whenever they have spread the ball out wide Seven. and asked questions of the Wesley defence in the wider channels. So Hopwood finds Jaivira. The Wesley backs trying to run it wide. Here's Jaivira coming into the game. Trying to use his physicality to attract the defenders and then offload. Goes into contact. Wesley still, still with possession. Jaivira finds Hopwood. And holding on, says the referee. Good work there by the Science College number 33. That's Bandara. Swoops in and fights for the ball and earns his team another penalty. Yes, excellent work by Bandara. Basically, just uh, slightly uh, lethargic in attending. Uh, making uh, ground at that breakdown and uh, Bandara was good enough to Wesley uh, forwards who came to clear their ruck were just not good enough Go to shift him so Another good attacking opportunity for Science. Got to make it count. They've had opportunities but just haven't been good enough to put the finishing touches. Accuracy has been lacking to a certain extent. Again, line out is misfired. Wesley collect the ball. Through the number eight is Ruperera. Takes it up. Hopwood is trying to get that ball out wide. Goes uh, for the base kick. That's a really good, nice hanging kick. A good chase by Wesley. By Jai Wardana, the fly half. Wesley, though, have done well to uh, retain position. They have players out wide. Just got to shift that ball out. Bandara takes it in. They had the numbers out wide, unfortunately. Deciding to go into contact. And um, again, just uh, putting the foot in touch on that occasion is Nimsara. But just in that previous phase when Bandara took the ball up. Take it in, but... Uh, a bit too late. So Wesley College now with another line out. Of course, they'll be happy if they can get a bit more cushion on the scoreboard. Line out is good. Set it up for the rolling mall, but the referee is playing advantage. There. Referee trying to power their way through. I think that was off your feet, says the referee. So the referee will come back to the initial infringement. And another penalty quickly taken by Hopwood. Tries the pass, but ricochets off the arm of the Science College player. And the referee is playing advantage for Science College. The ball is taken in. Dilshan. No real advantage gain there, so the referee will come back to the initial infringement. Not exactly sure what the call was, and I think he wants to have a word with his touch judge as well. Not quite sure that was the correct choice from uh, Wesley to take that quick tap. Wes the science defense had already retreated 10 meters, so that element of surprise was not there.
So it looks like uh, it's just a warning, not quite sure what it was for. So it's a high tackle, which has been picked up by the assistant referee. So another opportunity for science to clear their lines. Our clock shows that uh, the halftime whistle is due any moment now, so probably could be the final play of this game. Dilshan. Side. Very, very careless by Wesley. <laughs> Very careless, they just missed touch. Tried to stop it with the boot and uh, the try scorer, Tiragama, was in front of the, his player who touched the ball with his foot and picked it up. And as a result, have uh, given Wesley another great attacking opportunity. So, just a uh, penalty on the five meter line. Be interesting to see, Hisham, the options that uh, science will take from this situation most teams from this kind of lineup will like to use the driving mall interesting to see where the science will have that in their armory this time they are going with a full force line out they have been going three men throughout the game overshooting the throw this time goes short but Wesley College good pressure driving science college back immediately Science still with possession. They have been driven back. Science forwards trying to gain ground inch by inch. Going sideways, Wesley keep, keep, keeping them in check, but there you go. Referee playing advantage for a high shot. So that will be the second high tackle Will the referee just go to have a word with the skipper? Seems that he is going to the pocket. So this is quite unnecessary from Wesley's point because that kick to touch initially by Jai Vira didn't find touch. Carelessness or a lapse of concentration gave the opportunity for science. Now they have another advantage and they'll yet again go to the line out. So Science, uh, rather Wesley, will be without their number 80, Suru Pereira, for the next 10 minutes or so. It's important that Science capitalize on that. Looks like that high tackle happened uh, a few phases before. So good clean line out by uh, Science. They form the mall very steadily, but it breaks off. They have made a bit of ground, but just falling short. Wesley need to recycle this ball and just go in with a bit of phase, and they have lost the ball. Go back. And Hopwood clears the lines, finds a bit of touch, uh, finds a good ground. It looks like Wesley have launched a counter attack. Nice pick up. This is good stuff by Wesley, but they just got to spread it out wide. I don't think they're going to get much ground if they're going to play it in close quarters. Again, going uh, into contact. Being hit by this Wesley outside, who have been held up. And that will be half time. So it's going to be five points to nil, but just those last five minutes, uh, Hisham, I think uh, Science will rule missing, not taking those chances, isn't it? And again, it's just the tactics that they seem to employ. Just trying to attack along the fringes, going into contact. That's not the game they want to play against this Wesley outfit because they just don't have the forward power to uh, counter that Wesley 8. And it's something their coaches will do well to have a word with them during half time. So
two penalties smacked against the crossbar and then towards the end of the first half as well but as it stands Wesley go into the half time break with the slender 5.0 so we'll be out for a commercial break stay tuned for the second half we live in a world that's rapid and demanding we live in a community that values trust and reliability so what if speed and convenience had a new makeover introducing the new quickie.lk sri lanka's favorite online marketplace quickie.lk convenience delivered get a 10% bonus reload reload your prepaid dialog mobile dialog tv or your dialog home broadband connection through genie just tap pay on your genie app select the account you want to reload enter the amount and make the payment with any credit card debit card bank account or digital wallet linked to genie to receive your bonus reload instantly download genie today I know, I know, puta. Hey, baby, I get there. Need the anime. I'm more to tell it. Kalagunia go home now. Rhino nang walata. Safe tamay mulu get there. Rhino cement roofing sheets. Thank you, no Rhino. I know. Genie har har ke wana vidli sah jale bill pat sah has. Yet panah ka cash back ke kaag. Genie app ke link kala. One ma credit ho debit card pata kin. Bank ko ginu ma ho digital wallet taking. Bill ka pass win ke wana. Mimma pravar tan kaal si ma wawasan we. Oba ke utility ginu ma reward mudal la bana venu eta. Oba ke wana la bana. Pala mu vidli har jale bill pat sah ha. Mimma reward mudal la baade nu la bai. Bill pat ke ta dalva la baade na upper ma reward mudal la rupeeal pan si eki. Atama genie download karana. Kon desi ha niyam ya na dalve. प्रश्ने क्रिस्पी नंग उत्तरे क्रिस्को मेलिबन सेवरी किक के के क्रिस्पी किक के कर क्रिस्पी ने क्रिस्को ने फन लाइफस्टाइल लग रहा टीसीएल में तमाय अद काले टर अब काले टर टीसीएल में तमाय सिंग अगर दिन अद तक गैलप ना टीसीएल ट्वेंटी सीरीज जीनी समगा सेयर तो दाहे को बोनस रोल और देखा क्लब आकरना ओपके प्रीपेड डायलॉग मोबाइल डायलॉग टीवी डायलॉग होम ब्रॉडबैंड संबंधितावे संधार रीलोड कराना जीनी ऐप पे के ही पे बटन ने का टैप कराना रीलोड की रीमट आवाज़ शुभ डायलॉग सेवा वत तोरा गिवन अमूदला ऐतुलत कराना जीनी ऐप पे के टेलिंग कल ओने में क्रेडिट हो डेबिट कार्ड पता बैंक को किन्म हो a wood pattern finish i you know you can color it your way the plain ceiling rhino the roofing's rhino oh. the ceiling's rhino incredible strength i know durability that's high i know cost effective too i know it's the best choice always rhino. over half a century of trust now in a new formula rhino roofing and ceiling sheets i know rhino mona dalo me me kisi crispy gatiyan nahi ani crispy ne मेथोड में कार करगा हैप्पी नहीं कार करगा हैप्पी ना मोना क्यों है क्रिस्पी केस मेथोड में है प्रश्न क्रिस्पी नंग उत्तरे क्रिस्को मेलिबन सेवरी किक के क्रिस्पी किक के कर क्रिस्पी ने क्रिस्को ने फॉर इंस्टेंट पेन रिलीफ बराका जॉइंटीज फास्ट एक्शन स्प्रे योर पेन रिलीफ पार्टनर ऑन द फील्ड दालास लोक है ते एकतु हम देम उपलंग टमा कुत्ते न हिटिया एक कम यायक असीम त सतुटक बात दिना ओबे दरास सोया गना पेन डोंट लेट इट गेट यू डाउन फॉर इंस्टेंट पेन रिलीफ बराका जॉइंट ईज फास्ट एक्शन स्प्रे Baraka Joint E Spray, your pain relief partner on the field. Welcome to the universe of the Ras. Whatever you want, whatever you need, all you can imagine is on your feet. When miles are abridged, happiness is unlocked. The 
discover your Daraz. We live in a world that's rapid and demanding. We live in a community that values trust and reliability. So what if speed and convenience had a new makeover? Introducing the new Quickie.lk Sri Lanka's favorite online marketplace Quickie.lk Convenience delivered Get a 10% bonus reload Reload your prepaid Dialog Mobile, Dialog TV or your Dialog Home Broadband connection through Genie Just tap Pay on your Genie app Select the account you want to reload. Enter the amount and make the payment with any credit card, debit card, bank account or digital wallet linked to Genie to receive your bonus reload instantly. Download Genie today. I know, I know, puta. Hey, baby, I'm going to get rid of you. 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 I know. Genie har har ke wana vidali saha jana bil pat sad haasi at panahak cash back ke kaak. Genie app ke te link kala one ma credit ho debit card pata kin. Bank ko ginu ma ho digital wallet te keng. Bil na ka pahasu en ke wana. Mimma pravartana kaala si ma wawa saanwi. Oba ke utility ke numa te reward mudala bena venu eta. Oba ke wana nula bana. Pala mu vidali haa jana bil pat sad haa. Mimma reward mudala la baade nula bai. Bil pat ka ta dala wala baade na upari ma reward mudala. Rupial pan si eke. Ata ma genie download karana. Konde si haa niya miya na dala ve. प्रश्ने क्रिस्पी नांग उत्तरे क्रिस्को मेलिबन सेवरी किक के के क्रिस्पी किक के कर क्रिस्पी ने क्रिस्को ने फन लाइफस्टाइल लग रहा टीसीएल बता माय अदर काले टा अब काले टा टीसीएल बता माय सिंगल वेदिंग अदर टी गैलप ना टीसीएल ट्वेंटी सीरीज जीनी समुदा सेयर टू दाहे को बोनस रोयलर देखा क्लब आगे ना ओपके प्रीपेड डायलॉग मोबाइल डायलॉग टीवी डायलॉग होम ब्रॉडबैंड संबंधित आवेश संधार रीलोड कराना जीनी ऐप पे के ही पे बटन ने का टैप कराना रीलोड की रीमट आवाज़ शुरू डायलॉग सेवा वत तोरा गिवन अमूदला ऐतुलत कराना जीनी ऐप पे के टेलिंग कल ओने में क्रेडिट हो डेबिट कार्ड पताक बैंको a wood pattern finish. I you know. You can color it your way. The plain ceiling. Rhino. The roofing's rhino. Oh. The ceiling's rhino. Incredible strength. I know. Durability that's high. I know. Cost effective too. I know. It's the best choice always. Rhino. Over half a century of trust. Now in a new formula. Rhino. Roofing and ceiling sheets. I know. Rhino. Muna dalu me me kisi crispy kati ani. क्रिस्पी ने ये तोड़ में कार कर कर हैप्पी नहीं कार कर कर हैप्पी ना मुना तो क्यों है क्रिस्पी केस में तेरे बे प्रश्न क्रिस्पी नंग उत्तरे क्रिस्को मेलिबन सेवरी किक के क्रिस्पी किक के कर क्रिस्पी ने क्रिस्को ने for instant pain relief Baraka Jointies Fast Action Spray your pain relief partner on the field दारास लोक है ते एकतुएं ना ऊपर तो सारे सरल ना सिद्ध से तो राकन ना हम देव ओपन लग गए थे कोते न हिटिया एक कम यायक असीम तो सब डाक बात दिन है ओपे डरास सोया गाना पेन डोंट लेट इट गेट यू डाउन for instant pain relief, Baraka Joint Ease Fast Action Spray. Baraka Joint Ease Spray, your pain relief partner on the field. Welcome to the universe of the Raz. Whatever you want, whatever you need, all you can imagine is on your feet. When miles are abridged, happiness is unlocked. Discover your Raz. We live in a world that's rapid and demanding. We live in a community that values trust and reliability. So what if speed and convenience
Welcome back to the second half of this quarterfinal encounter between Wesley and uh, Science College. Wesley going into half time with a 5 0 lead, courtesy of a try from their wing three quarter, Giranagama. It was a very evenly contested uh, first half. Science definitely had their opportunities. Bit unlucky with uh, two penalty kicks hitting the upright. And during the last five minutes of that half, they had a couple of opportunities, but were just uh, good not uh, just not good enough to uh, capitalize on it so it will be the Wesley fly half Jawardena to restart the game it's long kick by uh, Jaivira Dilshan looking to find touch but doesn't find touch comfortably collected by uh, Fernando Jaivira passes the ball, Jaivardena passes the ball to his keeper Jaivira who breaks the tackle, goes now, they recycle the ball, offside look to find a bit of space offside. but the referee has his hands out for offside, Hopwood looking for his options, gets the ball out to uh, Jaivardena who goes into contact and Hopwood collects the ball and goes through the fringes, the pass not finding contact. Nonetheless, uh, Wesley continue to uh, launch an attack. So there's no advantage. The referee will come back for the offside infringement by Science. And Wesley have made a substitution early on as well. Winger Rashid has come in place of, I think, the Rodrigo. So Wesley trying to assert some early dominance in the second half. Of course, there are player down as well due to that yellow card they received just before the end of the first half. And the score update from the fourth quarter final is St. Joseph's slowly running away with the game now. 29 points to 14 against St. Anthony's. So their position in the semi-final all but confirmed. They would be eagerly awaiting to know who their opposition for the semi-final would be. Nice break on the blind side, but just man not ma managing to make that final pass. So, Jaiwardena will be looking to find touch. Doesn't make a lot of distance, but uh, gets it into touch, which is probably the most important thing. Right on the 22 meter mark. Just like to see uh, Wesley getting their skipper Jaivir into the game much more, isn't it, Hisham? It's a really big physical uh, three-quarter. If they can just get him into the play, into the game much more, give him a bit of space, or even just tell him to take a few players on to create space for the rest of his backs. He's got a very good offloading game as well. I've seen him do that a couple of times this season. Just feel he's being underutilized in this uh, Wesley three-quarter line. Nice clean line-out collection. Wesley decide to drive, but do hit the deck. They have managed to retain position. Trying to attack along the fringes. Science desperately uh, holding on. Ref returning to release because uh, the, ta the ball carrier has one knee on the ground. Again attacking along the, the fringes. But just that body position is slightly high. Which is enabling the, West, uh, the Science defenders to just hold forth. Again attacking along the fringes. But that occasion, just not supporting your body weight. So you have to be very precise when you are going to, you're doing that uh, pick and go. On that occasion, it was, uh, I think, uh, 
the prop forward uh, Tabith who was uh, penalized for not supporting his body weight opportunity for Dilshan to uh, clear their lines so science, co science college just like the first half absorbing the early pressure from Wesley in front of the referee so science college with another line out and once again they're going out with the full complement of players going short setting it up for a driving mall but that is halted immediately ball is still in in the breakdown Dilshan puts the boot but kicks it out on the full so these are the little mistakes Science College have been making throughout the game yes and also it was good the pressure applied by uh, Wesley as well made Dilshan rush his kick just couldn't uh, find uh, the placement that he wanted so as a result another Attacking opportunity for Wesley. So Wesley now with another line out. Science College didn't engage. The ball was at the front. So taken into contact. Here's half his target going into contact. The referee playing advantage. Ball sends out wide. Once again, yet another advantage. The tackle not rolling away. Tarush Jaivira. <laughs> Floating pass. Not read well there by Rashid. But nevertheless, Wesley did have the penalty advantage with them. Yes, so I think the infringement, the first infringement at least, was the fact that I don't think the Wesley 10 had retreated, if I'm not mistaken, or was it on offside? No, he's been penalized uh, for being offside. So, looks like uh, Jayawardena again will decide to go to the corner. So, referee now, Wesley now, with a perfect opportunity. They can use their heavier set of forwards. And try to force the issue. Maul their way through. First things first. They need to get the line out accurate. So far they have been better, you could say, than how they have been faring in the league. Science College not contesting once again. So they do in the end. Wesley meters away from the try line Back. trying to grind their way through forward Wesley College, Science College know what's coming at them get back, get back. desperate attempt to stop it but that's a good cut out pass the linesman is okay with that so I think this would be the second try for Wesley yes indeed so Hopwood Finding the man on the wing. It looks like it's Rodrigo who put the finishing touches, which means it was the first uh, half try scorer, uh, Giranagama, who has been replaced. Rodrigo's hand, so. Some good awareness by uh, Hopwood. He's done well, isn't it, uh, Hisham, uh, to uh, just uh, nullify that absence of uh, Murli Dharan. He's controlled the game well. His kicking from the, bo from the base has been very good. Distribution has been uh, good as well. So a courtesy of that second try, Wesley have uh, just extended uh, their lead. Just what they would have wanted, just a couple of minutes into this second half. 
So Jayawardena with their conversion. Right around the touch line. Strikes the ball. But Joe just goes right across the post. So the score will remain 10 points to nil. And that try, score, that try will definitely give uh, the Wesley lads a lot of confidence for the remainder of this half. Science need to hit back immediately. Can't afford to uh, let Wesley score next. Need to get some form of points on the board. So Anjana makes that kick and looks like Wesley have got their full complement of players back. Looks like uh, that was a high tackle. The touch judge or the assistant referee rather has his flag up as well. Okay. So look, it's like it'll just be a warning which... below the shoulder line didn't make any contact to the neck or head really good touch finder by Jayawardena right along the touch line a big gain we saw a similar incident in yesterday's uh, ch rugby championship game as well Hisham isn't it uh, when uh, it was uh, Dick Clark who uh, just put a wild hand and made contact with uh, it was Nick White's face and uh, was Some shown a yellow card. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And uh, was shown a yellow card as a result. So referees have been told to clamp down on uh, any contact made with the head. So nice good line out collection by Wesley. Looking to employ the driving mall, which they have done successfully. Making good ground. Science uh, defense in sixes and sevens. They've gone to ground. The ball has uh, still been made available. They got the ball out. And uh, they spread it out wide. Nice inside pass. Looks like it's a deliberate knock on. Referee has his hands up. Hands out for a penalty. Nonetheless, he'll play advantage, which Wesley will do well to make use of. Hopwood. It's the ball back to his forwards. Takes it into contact. There is a bit of space on the short side. If they decide to go, Hopwood needs to call out. But looks like the forwards are adamant to take the ball up. Some desperate defense by Science. Wesley take the ball up again. And uh, looks like they have gone over. It's uh, their prop forward, Tabith, who uh, puts the finishing touches to that uh, move. And Wesley have come out all guns blazing in this second half and within the first six minutes have touched down twice as well. Half is Tabith going over for Wesley's third try. And Simon. on the short side to put the finishing touches and Jai Wardana will uh, once again look to uh, make amends for his previous two ki missed kicks so finally Westby College distancing, the distancing themselves from the scoreboard they have been better And a good conversion there by Jawardhan as well. So 17 points to nil. West lead. 
and science college you could say making crucial mistakes giving plenty of opportunities to wesley to capitalize and now like you said things a daunting task ahead for science college science uh, team is just starting to show little by little it's ominous signs for science hopford collects cleanly Finds a good raking kick, finds a lot of space. Dilshan tracks back, gets the ball out to his uh, second row, who I don't think uh, that was the best choice by uh, Pereira. Doesn't find touch, Wesley stays. Tries to launch another attack, but looks like uh, play has been... of Javier's conversion So it looks like that was a knock on that look to find some good touch fine touch just about uh, 15 meters or rather 10 meters away from the 22 could see when from that last scrum hisham that the science uh, rather the wesley forwards are now just exerting their dominance their physical dominance over this uh, wesley 8 just sense that uh, science just have to try and throw the ball around because if they just try to go into contact i don't think they are going to be very successful and again the line out just not finding their mark the wesley knocked the ball around but looks like they come back for advantage played well, science just cannot afford to uh, give away position whenever they do get it because uh, swessley 8 look in mar marauding mood uh, in the second half Wesley were playing with advantage there. Poor handling at the line out by the Science College Five. second row. So Wesley now Hopwood with the feed in. Ball comes out the back, looking for a number eight break here. Hands off one, hands off two. Big offload, but just couldn't collect it. But once again, the referee is playing advantage off sides. It. clutches his hamstring he said it was interesting call by uh, referee abekon so fortunately for science they will have to now uh, retreat beyond the halfway mark Wesley's number 8 Dusir Pereira back on his feet seems to be okay He's on his feet but I think the coaching staff don't want to take any unnecessary risks so they are going to replace him So are you suffering from joint or muscle pain so don't let it get you down for instant pain relief use Baraka joint spray 
available in all pharmacies and supermarkets island wide or you can log in to the baraka facebook page for more details a joint e spray your pain relief partner on the field baraka pain relief spray as we get into the game wesley good touch finder there by jai vera just on the tw just outside the 22 mark another great platform here to launch an attack and really consolidate or rather strengthen their grip on this game yes and you say you just sense that whenever science do get into science uh, or rather wesley do get into science half and get some good territory science are really going to be under the pump seem to be increasingly struggling to uh, counter this uh, science eight or rather it's wesley eight and again wesley just formed that mall make some good ground again there's a break by uh, wesley's blind side flank on the on the short side nice pick and go hopwood again finding space on the short side gets it out to uh, is it rodrigo Oh, but a good steal by uh, Science. They've done really well on that occasion. They were under a lot of pressure. And Anjana decides to go for a base kick. Nicely collected. This looks like it's uh, Jayavira taking the ball up, trying to launch an attack. Nice pick and go along the fringes by Wesley. Back, back, get back, get back. They will want to ask questions of this uh, Science fringe defense. Keeping it very tight. You can see uh, Wesley's prop forward, half his star bit, tending to slow it down, control it. Go back. From, from Wesley's point of view, these are really good tactics. Slowly, inch by inch, gaining ground, but what they're also doing is really uh, sapping the strength of this. Uh, Science 8. Hopwood. It's like he will go to the short side. Jai Vira gets it out to Hopwood once again. Looking to find a bit of space. Ball is shifted out wide. Recycle the ball again. Half his star bit. Makes a really good run along the fringes. Hopwood again looking for space. Gets it out to his uh, forwards, right on the goal line, and looks like that is a try. Unfortunately, Abek won, losing his footing, but uh, very correctly awards the try. So a good passage of play, uh, sustained pressure applied by Wesley. Really running away, running away with this. It was number seven, Chamod Nimsara. A lot of hard work being down at the breakdown from him and earns him a try under his belt as well. So halfway through, uh, in fact, we are into the last quarter of the game and Wesley with a 22 point lead can increase this to 24 with this conversion. Chaibira lines up his kick. Looks good, is good, the red flags go up. So Wesley now with a 24 point nil lead. Three tries in this second half. And yes, then they're on their way to the semi-final. Yes, and looks like that'll be the last uh, play that uh, the Wesley Fly half will uh, have in this game. He has been uh, substituted. So Wesley have really come up storming in this second half. 
scored three unanswered tries. Ball is collected on that occasion by uh, Joseph, who collects it. Some good uh, pressure applied at the breakdown by Wesley, rather by Science, but uh, Wesley come out of it again. Again, Tabit Hafiz in the thick of things. Long the fringes, makes some ground, relays the ball back. Again, Wesley attacking along the fringes. Hopford this time deciding to clear their lines. Skipper Jayavira finds gains a lot of ground. And looks like uh, there's been a knock on as a result of that kick. It's a long raking kick by Skipper Jayavira. Just feel they should use him more, not just uh, with ball in hand, but even with his boot. So another good attacking opportunity for Wesley. It looks like it's been a tactical uh, change in positional change as well. It's Yusuf who has uh, gone into the number nine position and Hopwood has shifted to uh, the fly half position. Yusuf gets the ball out to uh, the fly half. Uh, Joseph and a uh, couple of um, decoy runners. Again, the passing just act lacking a bit of accuracy. Nimsara takes the ball up from the fringes. Back, 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 back. Yusuf gets the ball out to Hopwood. Tabith Hafiz has been in the thick of everything that uh, Wesley have done today. Some good recycled ball, but again, just that uh, pass not going to hand at the crucial moment. Probably Hopwood just a little bit guilty of forming a touch flat. So the pass going behind him, unable to uh, collect it. This has really been an encouraging second half performance by Wesley, isn't it, uh, Hisham? They've been uh, rather turid, but it's probably that hard work which they did in that first half, uh, which is uh, which took uh, its toll on that Wesley eight, in especially that they're reaping the benefits from now. Rightly said, Abdullah. And they really needed to step on their performance in the second half as well. Brilliant tackle there by the Wesley player. Saw his man, accuracy, right on cue. A desperate box kick there, doesn't gain ground. The chasers didn't back it up either, so Wesley now back with possession. Patiently letting their forwards build up the play. Tabit finding his prop forward. Lovely hands by Wesley College. Brilliant offload. Here's Jaibira steps inside. Brilliant inside pass as well. Here's Hopwood still on his feet. Needs support. Arrives eventually. Some pressure there by the Science College but still with Wesley. Hopwood searching for the ball but he let his forwards do the talking. They want to grind their way forward. Good bit of play here by the Wesley forwards. Here's half his target. Good meters gained. Get back, get back. Referee playing advantage for offside. And you can see the body language of the Science College player is not great as well. Just putting their bodies on in the line. Just hoping that they will make contact and stop this assault from the Wesley College forwards. Wesley just need to speed things up. Here's Hopwood. Lovely show and go. And he'll score a deserved try. Comes back closer to the post. That was a really good try from Hopwood. And really good build-up play from Wesley as well. 
Yes, he read the play very well, isn't it? Uh, the Wesley defense was not uh, structured well. They thought that they'll be going out wide. Hoffo just showing that uh, dummy and just identifying. by Hopwood he's really lifted his performance today we were talking beforehand on how Wesley will uh, miss the services of Moon Litheran, but uh, he has uh, definitely made up for that absence he's now shifted to the fly half position as well so it looks like Hopwood will be taking over the kicking duties as well Hopwood strikes it well and puts the finishing touches uh, comfortably to extend the lead to 31 points to nil. This has been a wonderful second half performance by Wesley. They've just capitalized on the fatigue that has set in into this uh, science outfit. They've tried hard but just uh, physically they just haven't been able to cope with what Wesley has thrown at them, especially in this second half. So Dilshan, once again, nice hanging kick, collected by Fernando, takes it into contact. Yusuf getting the ball out to Hopford again. Hopford finds start, uh, takes a long kick. Dilshan puts in a long kick skipper Jayavira trying to run from his own half kicks the ball out wide finds a bit of space and finds touch as well so just uh, have to feel a bit for the science lads you, they're really struggling in from now on isn't it uh, Hisham you can just see the way they are moving from uh, one place, one breakdown to the other, from one set piece to the other. They've really felt uh, the effects of uh, what this Wesley 8 has thrown at them. So, uh, just an update from uh, the Royal College Sports Complex, St. Joseph's. Eventually uh, coming out comfortable winners, 34 points to 14 over St. Anthony's. And looks like we're all set for a Wesley Joe's uh, semi final. Should be a mouth watering encounter. So, uh, Wesley penalized for closing that line out. Looks like Dilshan will go to touch once again. That should be a really good, uh, interesting encounter, isn't yeah. it, Hisham? That semi final lineup. Two very uh, competent packs, isn't it? I think up front that game could very well be won or lost. Yeah, I remember previously during the league fixture, I think that is where St. Joseph really edged out Wesley. So this time around, Wesley. And there are encouraging signs as well. I mean, the line out seems to be functioning well. Wesley College, that was a real concern throughout the league. And I think which really led them down as well. As Science College knocked it forward off that line out. So coming back to that, yes, it's going to be an interesting affair. And even the Isipatana versus St. Thomas's game should be a close tussle as well. So two good semi-finals coming up next week. As the knockouts reaches the business end as well so Hisham we have to decide on a man of the match been some really good performances by Wesley 
I can narrow it down to probably two players. It's uh, Tabith Hafiz has been pretty impressive. He's led the pack uh, relatively well. And even uh, Shane Hopford, you have to say as well, is dead. So uh, those would be my two nominations. I'll leave it to you to make the final decision. As the uh, ball comes out again. Hopford, nice long raking kick. Dilshan lets the ball bounce and go into touch. Williams coming back to the man of the match. Nominees, I think, yes, Hafiz Tabit has been standout. He led the pack as, as well. But I would go with uh, Shane Hopwood. I think uh, under pressure, replacing Murdiran, big name, big shoes to fill. But he has done really well in this game, controlled things, fed the backs as well. And of course, scored that try as well to compliment himself of a good game. So. I'd go with uh, Hopwood for this game. Yes, uh, fair call, Hisham. Been uh, very, really good. And as you correctly put it, big shoes to fill. And I thought he has done it extremely well, extremely competently as well. As Wesley launched another attack. Just see the enthusiasm of this, uh, the Wesley bench as well, isn't it? They've come and they've thrown everything into the game fresh legs coming and having a real impact so looks like this could very well be the final play of the game So Wesley feed the ball into the scrum. Yusuf gets the ball out to Hopwood. Spread it out wide. Nively short pass for Jayavira. Well, we were asking for him to get more involved in the game and in the final play of the match. Wesley decide to do that and maybe it's something which they could look to do more often in that semi-final as well. A what? Wesley to finish this game. Curtsy their skipper Jayavira putting the finishing touches. And a comprehensive second half effort you'd have to say by Wesley. Just taking this game away from science. Totally outclassed in the second half. Brilliant try there by Jayavira. And I guess he Saved his best for the last, right at the end, under the post. Hopwood is a left footer, but a fairly straightforward kick here. Just as a glance at the post. Easy does it. Slots it through. And there we go, referee. Ishanka Bekun ending the game. And Wesley comprehensively Winning this game, 38 points in a, a good second half performance, Abdullah. Yes, good second half performance. Probably you'd have to say on the back of some uh, hard grind by uh, the Wesley 18 that first half. Science just unable to cope uh, with the physicality that uh, Wesley have thrown at them. This performance should definitely give Wesley a lot of confidence going into that semi-final. Clinic.
catches to a very commanding win by Wesley. 38 points to nil. And they will take a lot of confidence from that performance going into their semi-final against St. Joseph's. So these are the key stats. Six tries by uh, Wesley. Five of them coming in the second half. Four conversions, which made up uh, the 38 points to nil. And uh, the NDB Bank player of the match, Shane Hopwood. So uh, that's it from Havelock Park. We'll see you again next week for the semifinals. From me, Hisham Hamid and Abdullah Yusuf. Till we see you again next week. Have a safe evening. Instant Pain Relief, Baraka Jointies Fast Action Spray, your pain relief partner on the field. Prasne crispy nang uttere crispo, Melbourne savoury kick ke crispy kick ke ke. Crispy ne, crispo ne. What's the best ceiling sheet, Mr. Basu? That's the I know ceiling, the Rhino ceiling, a wood pattern finish. I know. You can color it your way. The pain ceiling. Rhino. The roofing's rhino. Oh, the ceiling's rhino. Incredible strength. I know. Durability that's high. I know. Cost effective too. I know. It's the best choice always. Rhino. Over half a century of trust. Now in a new formula. Rhino. Roofing and ceiling sheets. I know. Rhino. Mono adalu meme kisi crispy kati ane. Crispy ne? The door me kar 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 happy ne? Kar 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 happy ne wa. Mono kyu ne? Crispy ke is meter be. Prasne crispy nang uttere crispo. Melbourne savoury kick ke ke crispy kick ke ke. Crispy ne crispo ne. Welcome to the universe of the Ross. Whatever you want, whatever you need, all you can imagine is on your feet. When miles are abridged, happiness is unlocked. Discover your Daraz. Daraz locate ekatuena. Opata Sarisarana. Sit Seto Rakana. Hammer them open Langatama. Cotena Hitia. Ekamayak. A scene with the Satuk. What did he know? Obey Daraz Soyagana. Pain? Don't let it get you down. For instant pain relief, Baraka Joint Ease Fast Action Spray. Baraka Joint Ease Spray, your pain relief partner on the field. I know, I know, puta. Hebeya gedere nidiyanne ma amu utu tenaka. Kalagune ko hunat. Rhino nang wahalata safe tamai mulu gedere ma. Rhino cement roofing sheets. Dang you know Rhino. I know. We live in a world that's rapid and demanding. We live in a community that values trust and reliability. So what if speed and convenience had a new makeover? Introducing the new Quickie.LK. Sri Lanka's favorite online marketplace. Quickie.LK. Convenience delivered. For instant pain relief, Baraka Jointies Fast Action Spray, your pain relief partner on the field. Prasne crispy nang uttere crispo, Melbourne savoury kick ke ke, crispy kick ke ke. Crispy ne, crispo ne. 
What's the best ceiling sheet, Mr. Basu? That's the Aino ceiling, the Rhino ceiling, a wood pattern finish. I you know. You can color it your way. The plain ceiling, Rhino. The roofing's Rhino. Oh. The ceiling's Rhino. Incredible strength. I know. Durability that's high. I know. Cost effective too. I know. It's the best choice always. Rhino. Over half a century of trust. Now in a new formula. Rhino. Roofing and ceiling sheets. I know. Rhino. Muna dalu me me kisi crispy kati ani ani. Crispy ne? Te thoru me kar 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 happy ne? Kar 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 happy ne wa. Muna kiu me? Crispy case me thoru be. Rasne crispy na uttere crispy. Melbourne savoury kick ke. ृष्टिकेन उपलब्धन For instant pain relief, Baraka Joint Ease Fast Action Spray. Baraka Joint Ease Spray, your pain relief partner on the field. I know, I know, puta. Hey, baby, I get there in the end, ma. I'm out to tell you. Kalagune ko huna. Rhino nang wala ta. Safe tamay mulu gather ma. Rhino cement roofing sheets. Then you know Rhino. <laughs> I know. We live in a world that's rapid and demanding. We live in a community that values trust and reliability. So what if speed and convenience had a new makeover? Introducing the new Quickie.lk, Sri Lanka's favorite online marketplace. Quickie.lk, convenience delivered. For instant pain relief, Baraka Joint Ease Fast Action Spray. Your pain relief partner on the field. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Catch me howling at the moon.